Hello guys, so good day. So welcome on our topic on mycology and this is our last topic for the second grading. So mycology guys are the study of your mushroom basically. So mycus means mushroom. But we will be focusing on a specific type of mushroom, okay? Or the or fungi, sabi nga. So, fungi, which are, syempre, clinically significant. When we say clinically significant, they cause disease in humans, okay? So, we will study its structures, characteristics, morphology, importance, its classification uh, based on where it is. Uh, where does it cause disease or where is its habitat in the body based on the mycosis, kung it causes mycosis on the skin lang ba or opportunistic ba siya or systemic. So, yan ang pag-aaralan natin ngayong araw. So, let's talk about the different terminologies. So, your fungi or your fungus are eukaryotic substances. Yeah. And so, eukaryotics meaning they have a true nucleus. Their nucleus is enclosed in a nuclear envelope. And what's special about them is they are spore, spore bearing. Okay. So, your bacteria, it becomes a spore when it is exposed to harmful environment. Pero itong spores na to, it's very important in their sexual and asexual reproduction. So, sa bacteria, guys, it's just asexual reproduction. But here in fungus, we have sexual and asexual. So, ang raming napaka-special sa fungi. What else? Yan. What are spores? So, these are propagating unit. It's a way for them to multiply. It could be used in asexual and sexual. Mamaya, i-distinguish natin yan. So, we have two siguro morphologies of your molds, okay? Some, some fungi, guys, are in yeast form. Yeah. So when we say yeast form, it, what they look like in the culture is they form colonies. Yeah. So they look like bacteria. They are pasty, they are white, sometimes yellow. And mold guides, they, they look like this one. So they are filamentous. Yeah. Filamentous, kumbaga may mga buhok-buhok. So if you have seen a moldy bread, yeah. if you have seen a moldy na bag, Hindi ba parang may hair-like filaments? So, those are mold form, okay? So, but guys, the twist in our story is that some fungi are both yeast form and could turn into yeast form and some could turn into mold form. Ganon, okay? So, some yeast lang talaga sila forever, like your candida albicans, sa karamike cerevisiae. So, for the brewery, for beers, uh, however, guys, both, yung iba, yung iba mold lang naman talaga, pero yung iba both. They could be in a yeast form and mold form. So, they, itong mga dimorphic, ang tawag sa kanila, dimorphic fungi, they are yeast form when the temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, example, in our body, and they are mold form at 25 degrees Celsius at around room temperature. Yan. So, notice dito sa mga image, itong yeast, they bud, yan, budding. So, isang, ito yung um, one part of the yeast. So, they form a little circle, yan, tapos hanggang lumaki, tapos mag-form na naman siya little circle. That's budding, B-U-D-D-I-N-G. And mold, guys, notice they are, there are hyphae or yung parang stem. Mamaya pakita natin yung hyphae. So yeast refers to a microscopic fungus consisting of a single oval cell. Yeah. Single cells lang siya. So they could form colonies just like your bacteria. And your molds, guys, so they grow in multicellular filaments called hyphae. I'll show you what hyphae are. are. So guys, walang hyphae. Um, talagang distinct talaga sa yung kumbaga yung hair-like structure. Distinct talaga sa mold yung hyphae. Okay? But I, ayun, some, your yeast could also form hyphae. Pwede rin. 
pero hindi siya talagang karakteristik ng yeast. So, your yeast are very common in, in the environment. Whatever the temperature is, your mold are found in damp, dark, and steam-filled areas. So, class, dito sa Baguio City, kung umulan ng napakatagal, so talagang expect mo ang mold sa wall mo. So, yeast are oval in shape and is colorless and smooth. Your mold, guys, has a fuzzy appearance. Yeah. So, fuzzy. Alam mo, Fuzzy, I remember my teacher. Uh, sabi niya, the mold has fuzzy appearance. Fuzzy. <laughs> So, colors can be green to ano-ano. So, look at a moldy bread. Your yeast converts carbohydrate to alcohol during fermentation. Your molds could secrete enzymes yeah, and sources and absorb nutrients. So, you could find molds in the soil. Yeah, so, they consume organic materials. Your yeast produces through budding. So, a single cell. Tapos magpo-form ng, ng maliit na cell, na oval cell. It will bud off. Pwede matanggal. Pag ganun. So, reproduces. Your molds could reproduce through sexual and asexual spores. Yeast could be used in the baking industry, in making uh, beer, wine, production of ethanol. Used in the production of cheese naman ang molds. Di ba may mga moldy cheese? And these are your example. Molds example are penicillin. So, hindi ba yung penicillin no tatum? Mucor, rhizopus, aspergillus. Yes, we have saccharomyces cerevisiae and cryptococcus neoformans. So, we will return to this cryptococcus neoformans, guys. Isa siyang systemic mycosis. Yan. So, it could infect the CNS, central nervous system. So this is what we call hyphae. And so your yeast could form hyphae, guys. But your molds as hyphae as well. Yeah? So your hyphae is like the, uh, kumbaga parang, it's intertwining. Kumbaga parang vine, microscopic vine. Yeah? So it, this could be distinct. So once you get a skin scraping, yan, kumuha ka ng dandruff, o kaya a portion, you scrape off a skin, mamaya, I'll show you. And you look at it under the microscope, is you could see, you could notice na medyo malala na yung fungal infection if there are already high phase that are forming. They are thin, transparent, and tubular wall. Yan. So, they are parang stem-like. It it's like branches. Hello, um, hyphae. Wag kakalimutan ha. And your hyphae, guys, has classification. We have septate hyphae and sparsely septate or sino, sinocytic. Yan. Sabi nila dati, asept, aseptate. Pero hindi pala completely walang septate. Konti lang. Okay? Konti lang yung septate niya. So, septate are the walls that divide or separates your hyphae. Yan, hati-hati. Yan, yun yung mga yan, walls. So, this is a way of classifying your, your fungi. Yan. So, sinusitic septate, hindi masyadong marami yung walls that divides your hyphae. Yan. So, walang separation or only few separations. Sparsely septate or sinocytic yan. So, aseptate, hindi pala correct yun. Kasi meron at meron. Pero pa, isa-isa. We have pseudohyphae. So, pseudohyphae is actually a uh, yeast. Succe successively budding yeast. So, it's it acts like it's a hyphae. It's branching, ganyan. Pero hindi pala that these are actually budding yeast that are long lang. Diba? So, it takes a, a skilled eye to notice that. Pero I just want to tell you na may pseudohyphae. The pseudohyphae are actually yeasts, okay, that are long. Okay? That have not detached from one another. So, dapat nag-detach sila, naghihiwalay sila, pero apparently, ayan, they're so attached. So, guys, I told you, isn't it, that they, there are dimorphic 
fungi, meaning they could become a yeast and they could become a mold. So this could be an example of a transition from a yeast being a hyphae, uh, forming into a hyphae, and your hyphae becoming a yeast, yeah, especially among dimorphic fungi, meaning they could have two forms. So yeast sila sa body temperature, hyphae sila sa mold form sila sa room temperature. Yeah. So, so the hyphae is the one that is in between. Okay. So the yeast, ang power niya or ang virulence niya or pathogenicity is it colonizes the mucosal tissue. Example, mucosal tissue of the lungs, especially in systemic mucosis, doon nagsisimula ay lungs kasi once you inhale the spores. And your hyphae, yan, since it's intertwining, it's like a vine, it could invade other tissues. Yan. So later, we will have the term disseminated. Yan. So ibig sabihin, kumakala to different organs, disseminated. And this, they could escape some immune white blood cells. Yan. Interesting. Your pseudohyphae are mobile. So since your yeast could bud off, Increased ability to acquire the nutrients. What are what else are the parts? Hindi natin pag-aralan lahat, pero I just want you to uh, be introduced lang. So, kung sinabi natin yung hyphae, is it that it's the intertwining uh, colorless tube? Yeah. So, mycelium is the intertwining structure of hyphae. So, pag mas intertwining pa siya, yan, we call it mycelium. And the root-like branch hyphae, yeah. so root parang roots nga is the rhizoid. So rhizoid roots nga, kasi parang rhizoid yung mga ginger. Eh. So the function of your fungi, guys. So they are very important in in nature in the soil because they. Uh, disintegrate organic matter. Yeah. They feed on the organic matter and convert it to relevant um, or inorganic materials. So, nag-produce ng nitrogen, nitrites, nitrates, and so on. Ng mga, uh, so on. <laughs> and play vital roles in the industry. Ginagamit ang funza in the manufacture, manufacture of cheese. May, may cause many plants and animals, human diseases, and it has biological importance. So guys, so many fungi are already are also found in your body. Okay, they are controlled by our normal bacterial flora. They are in check. Yeah. So hindi naman marami yung fungi sa katawan natin kasi binabalance siya ng presence of bacteria. Okay. Pero yun once you have weakened immune system. Example, prolonged use of antibiotics, pati prolonged use of steroids could weaken your immune system at ang magsasrive e eh, fungi. Okay. So, your fungi are eukaryotic. So, under kingdom mycota, they have more complex morphology than fungi. Yeah, I than bacteria, correct. So, they resemble plants because... Uh, they live on soil. They have, with few examples, yan, they have cell walls. Ang plants ay naman may cell walls. Yan, however, they are devoid of chlorophyll, stem, roots, and leaves. Okay? So, yung stems natin looks like hyphae instead. Yung roots natin are rhizoids. And they produce through asexual and asexual by spores and budding. So they are chemoheterotrophs. Yan. Paki Google nga, paki throwback. What are chemoheterotrophs? Some are parasitic. Uh, so they acquire nutrients from their host cell. So pag nasa katawan natin, they could be parasitic. They are saprophytic. So they live on soil and consume the organic materials. And omnivorous, they love either meat or Meat or vegetables. <laughs> Kaling ng mga fungi. And depend on trans, depends upon transport of soluble nutrients across their cell membrane. Their habitat is a profit on soil and water. Most common talaga sila in soil. 
Fungi, whose natural habitat is the soil. Use of this term is generally restricted to certain dermatophytes. Some, some class dermatophytes are the one that feeds on keratin rim. And they love keratin, so they stay on our on our skin. So they are also geophilic. And zoophilic, so they love animals. So they're dermatophytes that predominantly infect animals. So they dermatophytes, they love keratin. So they love keratin of animals. Example, microsporum, microsporum canis. So they love the pH of five. So slightly acidic. Um, almost all molds are aerobic. And so they love the presence of oxygen. They do not tolerate the absence of oxygen. So, baka walang fungi sa outer space. Yan. So, most leaves are facultative and aerobes. Some of them could tolerate um, just a little bit of lack of oxygen. Most fungi could grow in high sugar and salt concentration and could grow in less moisture and less nitrogen because they could make their nitrogen. So cell wall, guys. So cell wall is found in plants, in bacteria. May cell wall rin. Uh, humans, wala tayong cell wall. So protects the underlying protoplasm. It determines and maintains the shape of the fungal cell. It acts as an interface. So kumbaga, a barrier, a boundary between the fungus and the environment. So it's a binding site for some enzymes. So it will attach, the enzymes will attach to the cell wall and antigenic properties. So for molecular identification. So para uh, it could interact. Yan nga, antigenic. So kunyari guys, the cell wall was detected by the body. The body could make antibodies against the cell wall. So it has chitin. So chitin is a protein-like structure. Pati yung mga shrimp, yung walls nila, yung, yung, it, these are proteins that are found in the shells of, cells of shrimp. Yeah. They are unaffected by antibiotics. Cell wall also has protein like glycoprotein and lipids. It also has cap capsule. So some of them, example is Cryptococcus, Neoformans, may capsule rin sila. So the same with bacteria. The capsule has amorphous polysaccharide, so carbohydrates ang capsule. So it could also be slimy. The function, it may influence the growth of fungus by preventing dissociation of buds and dispersion of yeast. So para encapsulated, di ba? Pag encapsulated, hindi ka basta-basta mag-bud off. Yan. So, ayun. Sa bacteria, isn't it that the capsule, the purpose of it is to uh, prevent phagocytosis. Yan. That's actually, I was reviewing the review question. Natatanong daw yan sa board exam. Cell membrane protects the cytoplasm. So, aside from the cell wall, may cell membrane rin. It regulates the, uh, the products, the soluble and insoluble products that could enter the fungi. It facilitates the synthesis of the cell wall and the capsular material. In the cell membrane is where you could find your ergosterol. So, sterol, so may, uh, it has a component of fats and sterols. So, ito yung ina-atake guys ng nistatin, ampotericin B, ng mga uh, antifungal agents. So guys, for their cytoplasm, we have mit mitochondria, vacuoles, vesicles, and microtubules. They, the nucleus are bounded by the nuclear envelope. So, ibig sabihin, it has a true nucleus. And double nuclear membrane pa siya, two membrane. Usually, one nucleus consisting of mostly mRNA. So, it's a your nucleus, guys. So, it's uncovered in, in, in by nucleus, nuclear membrane. Merong dense, dense part dun sa loob ng nucleus. And that's what we call nucleolus. And that is where your RNA are. 
the forms of fungal growth. Yeah. So we have yeast-like and mold-like. However, we have also dimorphic. So yeast are non-filamentous. Okay. So they do not have so much of a hyphae, but they could form hyphae. Okay. They are unicellular that are typically spherical or spherical or oval where most infected tissues are observed. So they stay on the mucosa, in the mucosa. Yeah, so they are produced through fission or budding. So yung budding or yung fission, pericell produces a protuberance. So yan, tapos may maliit. Nucleus divides and migrates to the bud or fission. The parang binary fission, parent cell elongates and divides into two daughter cells are produced. Pero that's mas common ng budding um, na as asexual reproduction. We have mold-like or filamentous. They are multinucleated with branching tubular structures called mycelium, yung makapal na hyphae. Grows by branching and elongation at apical tip. So, nagbabranch siya nang nagbabranch until it could invade the different parts of the body. And guys, we have dimorphic fungi. They could switch into being a yeast or into a mold. So, non-filamentous to becoming filamentous, filamentous to becoming non-filamentous. And so, the modes of reproduction, we have sexual and asexual reproduction. So, the, how does asexual reproduction happen? Through mitosis, so nag-produce ng daughter cells, mitosis with budding, yeah, production of daughter cell, then a production of a protuberance, yeah, fragmentation of hyphae. So, if this is the hyphae, yeah, pwedeng mag- Matanggal yung hyphae. I'll show you a picture of that. And formation of asexual spores. So, the spores, guys, could be used for asexual and sexual reproduction. So, tingnan na natin dito. So, these are your different fungi which are classified based on the spores they are producing. Yeah. So, we have arthrospores. Kumbaga, parang box lang siya. So, itong mga box na to, pwedeng, yung arthrospores, pwedeng matanggal, yan, and are released. Example, yung, ang meron nito is coccidioides imitis. Mamaya, I will show anong kinukos ng coccidioides imitis. So, kumbaga, box siya. Di ba yung hyphen natin? It's separated by septate. So, the hyphen are, tawag dun? are fragmented. Yan, natatanggal. So, lumarami. Yan, lumarami kumakalat. We call it arthrospores. An example is coccidioides imitis. So, next, guys, chlamydospores. So, notice the chlamydospores, instead of a box, circle siya na double walled pa. Yan. Yan. And it's, it could be within a hyphae or on the terminal side, yung circle depending on the species or the of the fungi. Kunti lang ipapamemorize kung fungi sa inyo ngayon. So, pag-around siya. Okay? Next. For in the spores, notice, the spores are enclosed with a sac. Yan. Itong sac na to. Yan. Naka-enclosed. So, nare-release ng pakunti-kunti yung mga spores. It's called sporangia spores. Conidia spores, it's not enclosed in a sac. Okay. So, parang aspergillus to eh. And blastospores, example, in cryptococcus, neoformans, candida albicans, the, the, but, may high PO, pansin nyo. Pero, there are budding off. Yan, budding off. So, notice yung may mga circles, yan, magbabud off yung mga circle na yan. Tapos, magagro, magiging oval, yan, and so on, takalat sila. So that those are your different way, different morphology and different ways how asexual asexual reproduction happens. So pwedeng arthrospores, may fragmentation, chlamydospores, so circular siya. Sporangiospores, may sac. Conidiospores, walang sac. 
blastospores, budding of in Candida albicans and Cryptococcus neoformans. So, this is your asexual reproduction. So, spores will be produced and it germinated. So, parang siyang seeds, guys, na kumakahalat. So, kaya, ayun, kunyari, uh, panahon na nagpaproduce yung mga molds ng spores, yan, na bahing ka ng bahing. So, your, what else? Dito naman sa sexual reproduction, guys, we have two parts. We have plasmogamy, which is the fusion of the cytoplasm lang. So, pag sexual reproduction, kumbaga, dapat may male and female. Pero, there's no such thing as a male and female fungi. So, positive and negative ang tawag sa kanila. So, they will fuse in their cytoplasm and they will fuse in their nuclei. So, pag cytoplasm lang ang nag-fuse, hindi pa nag-fuse yung nuclei, plasmogamy ang tawag. Karyogamy, pag nag-fuse na yung nuclei. Tapos, it will form meiosis and they will form spores. And tignan natin. So, sexual mode. So, either, either cross-fertilization, so, merong isang fungi dito, isang fungi, they will cross-fertilize or self-fertilize. Okay? So, kung marami na siyang spores, yan. So, it will, it will, uh, siguro, it will produce the zygote. So, half-light fungi form hyphae that has gametes at the tip. So, when we say gametes, you, ito na yung mga magmimate. Okay? So, uh, plus type and negative type yung mga gametes natin. So, instead of female gametes and male gametes, positive and negative. Ma'am, sa positive and negative, ano yung male and female? Hindi ko rin alam. Okay? So, your plasmogamy, magpo-fuse lang yung cytoplasm. Okay? But the nuclei is still distinct. Forming a dikaryotic cell. Dikaryotic kasi dalawa yung Nucleus, nag-fuse lang sila, okay? But hindi yung nucleus. And now, the karyogamy, there is the fusion of nuclei forming a diploid zygote. So, nadoble na yung chromosomes. So, plasmogamy, half pa rin yung chromosome kasi hindi pa nag-fuse yung nuclei sa karyogamy na, na two times na, na twice na. Hindi ko kasi alam kung ilan, di ba kunyari, 23 sa humans. Pag nag, naging diploid na siya, magiging 46. So, hindi ko alam kung ilan yung chromosome ng ng fungi. So, there, in plasmogamy, there's only the fusion of cytoplasm. In karyogamy, there is the fusion already of the nucleus. Yeah. Forming a diploid cell. Yeah. So, pwede na ito mag-bud off or spores na to. Pwede na siyang kumalat. So, dito sa image, ito, yung positive, yung red, and negative, yung green. Yan. So, nag-fuse lang yung cytoplasm sa plasmogamy, mag-fuse yung nucleus sa karyogamy. So, ito may bilog na. Yan. Tapos, pwede nang mag-extend, mag-produce pa ng protuberance to. Itong isang kanina, isang single spore. Ready na to germinate yan. Sporangium grows, uh, grows on a short stalk. Haploid spores are formed inside. Yan. Sporangium. So, sac. Yan. It encloses the spores. Yan. So, pwedeng lumabas na yung spores. Diba yung sporangium spore kanina? So, this is a very specific among sporangium spores. Okay. So, other sexual spores. Uh, we have ascospore parang sac like So, ito yung isang hyphae. Ito rin yung isang hyphae. Yan, nag-fuse together. We have basidiospore, club-shaped structure, and we have your zygospore. Yan, kanina. Uh, how we ganunong kanina. Spores resulting from the fusion of two identical hyphae. So, sexual spores, tatlo lang, guys. For the asexual, one, two, three, four, five. Five. 
So, body size and possible fungal pathogen. So, ano-ano bang, so based on your specimen example or based on the site, ano ba yung mga fungi na nagsistay doon? So, practice tayo guys ha, na magbasa. Okay, so read after me. So, in blood, we have candida species, sample candida albicans, we have blastomyces dermatitidis. Yeah, sa blood rin yan. So, it could cause um, toxemia. Yeah. We have histoplasma capsulatum. Kung aaralan natin, pag-aaralan natin ito, mga, mga systemic mycosis to mga to. So, when we say mycosis, it the disease that are caused by your fungal uh, etiologic agents. We have Cryptococcus neoformans. Sila dyan. CSF. Ano ba mahayat natin dyan? So, ibig sabihin, they could spread. So, nagsimula lang siguro sa lungs. Madalas sa lungs pag systemic fungi. So, pwedeng kumayot sa blood, sa CSF, like your Cryptococcus neoformans, Candida, Histoplasma, Capsulatum, and Coccidioides imitis. Ito yung may arthrospores, right? We have your hair. Alam mo, napapanood ka lang, fungal infection pala. Microsporum, trichophyton, malasizia sa dandruff. Uh, yung spelling mamaya. Yan, his cryptococcus ata ito kasi merong halo shape, parang capsule yung itsura niya. Histoplasma ng capsula ito. So, these are your macrophages na may na-ingest na, na histoplasma capsula ito. What else? Sa nails, we have Aspergillus, Epidermophyton, Trichophyton. Yun yung challenging class naman dito sa fungi. Hindi lang isa. So, minsan halo-halo sila. Pero just to let you know, so ang mga sa nails, yan, kala po, di ba namamatay lang, fungal infection pala. Skin, we also have Candida, Microsporum, Trichophyton, Epidermophyton, Dastomyces dermatididis. We have lungs, Candida albicans, Aspergillus rhizopus, Penicillium histoplasma capsulatum, Pneumocystis carinii. So, luma na pala yung name na to, na Pneumocystis carinii, Gerovechiae pala yung mas bagong pangalan. We have Blastomyces dermatitidis, Coccidioides, Imiti. So, notice how I wrote the scientific name. So, mas malaki pa rin yung, yung genus, mas malit na letter yung species, okay? Throat, candida albicans, deuterium, candidum, urine, candida albicans, candida gabrata, genital tract, candida albicans. So, candida, if you're in doubt, ang sagot, candida albicans. So, how do we screen your fungal infection, especially if it's in the skin lang naman, or hair, or nails, or foot? So, we could perform KOH test. So, kung gram staining, guys, sa bacteria, it's a screening on classifying your bacteria, whether if they are gram positive, gram negative, or kaya gram variable sila. Dito naman, a way of screening or visualize your fungi, your yeast, your spores, your hyphae under the microscope is performing KOH test. Okay, KOH means potassium hydroxide. Yan. So, it's a rapid way of detecting under the microscope the, microscope the fungal elements. So, it's very easy. You're just going to get a skin scraping of the fungal uh, infection. Pwede gumamit ka ng blade. Pero kami, slides lang. Scalpel. Pero okay na slide lang. Yan. And after collecting it, you will drop 10% KOH on the slide. Yan, 10% or 20%. Depending on how hard the skin are. So, kung galing lang naman na skin and hair, 10% okay na. But if it's nails, yan, you need a stronger alkaline. What's the purpose of that, guys? So, it dissolves the cement substances the whole, that holds your keratinized cells together. It breaks it down a little bit. It digests it para makita mo yung fungi, para makita mo yung hyphae, yung spores, or yung conidia. 
Ayun. And so you add, you have your skin scraping, add one to two drops, incubate it for five to ten minutes, allow the KOH to digest the cement substances para mawala yung mga cellular debris, para mas madaling makita, okay? So once you look at it under the microscope, after five to ten minutes, yan, makikita mo yung mga different parts. So pag ganito na nakikita mo, guys, medyo malala na kailangan na talaga mag-antifungal cream, ganyan. So, pag sa skin lang naman, anti-fungal cream, lotion, shampoo, ayun. So, we have, so we're going to discuss your mycosis, guys. So, we have four, okay? Yung first two, we have superficial or cutaneous. So, it, it involves the keratinized tissue. So, love to ng mga dermatophytes because they love keratin. We have subcutaneous, so below the dermis are your subcutaneous tissue, so lymphatic vessels, the, the contiguous tissues, your muscles, they are acquired by trauma, so natusok usually. At doon pumasok yung punjay, okay, may skin breaks. We also have systemic mycosis, mga sa that could affect your organ system already and it could debilitate people that it's all one two three guys they cause disease on healthy people okay exception is the opportunistic fungi or mycosis they cause disease to immunocompromise individual okay so in among healthy people it's rare that they cause disease Mula natin, the first part natin. So guys, we have superficial or cutaneous mycosis. They are caused by your dermatophytes. Dermatophytes loves keratin. Yan. So itong mga trichophyton, epidermophyton, microsporum, malassezia. So the common superficial mycosis are your ringworms. Okay? So it could be human to human, animal to human in direct contact. So, risk factors, if you have a decreased immune response, you have your, your age, diabetes mellitus, per, 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 <laughs> poor circulation, and corticosteroids. Now, we told us na ano, risk factors, these are increases the risk. Okay. So, pero healthy individuals, pwede magkaroon ng ganito, especially pag basa lagi yung kamay mo, ganyan, or hindi mo itin pinapatuyuan, or you're always working in a dump, your occupation is working always with water, yan. yan. So, may nakakoman na superficial or cutaneous mycosis are your ringworms. So, it could start just like this, pero guys, oh, kumalat na talaga ako ang tagal na hindi na na-detect agad. So, yun yung ayaw natin yung kumalat. So, it's ringworm kasi it's circular. Okay? So, the technical term for ringworm are your tinea. So, pag nasa scalp siya, it's called tinea capitis. If it's in the face, tinea fasciae. Pag nasa beard, at saka mustache, or kanyari, after magpagupit, yung kapatid ko, nakikitaan ko nito, tinya barbe. So guys, check nyo rin. Mahirap pa rin magpagupit, mga boys, uh, mga mura. Okay? Kasi baka they're not cleaning up your materials. We have tinya cruris in the groin, isa mga singit, guys. Tinya corporis in the trunk. Ayan, dito. Tinea pedis, soles or toes, pag kunyari, yan, you are more prone to athlete's foot. Pag itong tinea cruris naman, guys, sa mga ano daw eh, mga athletes, yan, especially if they are wearing, uh, hindi ko alam tawag doon eh, nakalimutan ko na eh, yung parang protection sa groin, jock, jock, pero yun, jock itch, jock itch, pag mayroong kang, ang ano niya, ang common name na if you have jock itch, kung makati yung mga kasingit-singitan, yan, of jock itch. So, dahil sa pawi, sa init, we have tinya pedis, so, also called as at least foot. We have tinya unggum, 
uh, nails and so kala mo di ba normal lang yun punjay na pala and tinya manu so in minsan class kito ko na zol natural cream yun anti fungal creams class will work on this so you could now look at your skin ganyan o, may mga ringworm ringworm ka na dyan. so class if you're living close with other people ganyan nagsha-share ng mga towels we have tinea versicolor so changes in the skin color naman to okay caused by your malassezia for for if there's the humid weather increased moisture in the air oily skin hormonal change and weakened immune system changes in the para kang ano dear di ba so these are your dermatophytes yan so just uh, ano lang makita nyo lang familiarize lang so yung trichophyton mga tin niya to epidermophyton and microsporum among your microsporum we have oduinii oduinii pag double i niai gypsum canis so from for dogs lang. We have trichophyton tonsurans, metagrophytes, and rubrum. So, they, they, they look like this under the uh, microscope. So, ang tawag dito sa malalaking to guys, arconidias. Yan. Macroconidia and microconidias. So, may iba. Mukhang cigarette light. Ito mukhang ano daw, beaver's tail or ito yung beaver's tail. Something like that. Anyway, hindi ko na papa-identify sa'yo. Pero, pero familiarize yourself. Well, pag sarabi ng nating dermatophytes, they causes your tinea. Okay? Ringworm. And your dandruff caused by also your malassezia fur fur. Your malassezia species. Pero ang pinaka-common kasi fur fur. Yes, yan talagang pangalan niya. So, who are prone to dandruff? They are male. They are middle-aged adult if they have oily scalp or hair. Family history of skin conditions. They are stressed, overweight, suppressed immune system, and sensitivity to chemicals and shampoos. So guys, hindi pala nakakahawa ang dandrafa. Sorry, sabi ko nakakahawa. And for this first part, dito na yung last, we have subcutaneous mycosis, guys. So, pinakasikat talaga is your sporotrichosis or rose gardener's disease. So, itong sporotrichian TI, guys, nahanap sila sa tinik ng rose. So, pag natusok ka, yan, traumatic implantation of the of the thorn, tapos na, nagkataong may sporotrichian TI dyan. So, at least yung mga rose gardener. Kaya ang tawag sa kanila, Rose Gardener's Disease. Okay? It occurs worldwide in the US, South America, Mexico, and South America. South Africa. Rin. First case was described in 1898 by Dr. Shen. Kaya naging Shen So this is subcutaneous. Okay? It's under the skin. And dimorphic pala ang sporotrix. Shenkiai, okay? So, it could go to your subcutaneous. So, it could form ulcers, pus. It could go to your lymph nodes. So, your hand, arm, neck, and foot. So, it's injury by the rose thorn. Yan, rose gardener's disease. Ito naman, class. Ito, madura foot. Yan. Ito, pangalawa lang to. Dalawa lang sila. So, mycetoma or madura foot caused by madurelia mycetomatis. So, this could be debilitating. Pwede kang hindi makalakad. Yeah. So, because there are masses inside your foot. Kung baga, they're forming granuloma sa paa mo. It could be debilitating. Yeah. So, this is the other part one. 